Hello, everybody. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jim. It's good to Hi, see you. Everybody out there in YouTube land. It is the James. And the David. Beer review. Beer review. We right. will be doing this one in the Beer German really accent. The because this sounds so much more important and scary. Because there was a war with people with this That's accent. That's the Miss Watton? This is uh, Zero Gravity's Conehead Beer. Conehead Beer. 5.7 ABV, all citra hop IPA brewed with Pilsner malt and American wheat. A lot of now, wheat going on. Now, obviously, when they say conehead, they mean this kind of cone. They don't mean like bells are. A beautiful golden haze, and it's bright and juicy on the palate. This beer might be your Rushmore. I like bright and juicy on the palate. Uh, it's got uh, domestic Pilsner, domestic white wheat. Hops are citra, yeast is house ale, the original gravity is 13.8, the appearance is golden yellow haze. All right. I'm going all in on this one. Don't disappoint me. Got about, about a three finger, a bit much of foam on the top here. But it is still vigorously bubbling there. You can see it is a light golden color. Oh, it smells bright, it smells citrusy. Hmm. It's done in March. Ooh, nice. So done in March, this ends of July, so March, April, May, June, July, so not quite five months. Three months last, four months. No, I actually screwed up before Dave. Don't try to cover for me. We found out. It was 311. All right, you ready? Hmm. What do you smell? Lemony. Make it citrus. I get zestiness. Yeah. A little bit of dankness. Yeah, cheers. Let's no, just jump right into it. No dankness here. Oh, you know what? Let's do this, Dave. No, too late. All right, I'm going to tell you on camera because I forgot to tell you off camera. Next time, let's hold up like this. Slightly lean it forward at the same time. And when I go to edit this, I'll put in a little chink sound effect as if it hit above where the camera is. Ah, editing. Ooh. Editing, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited about it. I may edit this before I put it up. I can't see it now. I'll see it later. All right, Dave, cheers. Cheers. Uh, no, it's got to be off camera. you got to have it high enough to be off camera. Don't here. block your face. Over on the side. Over here. Uh, well, yeah, sure. Ready? Cheers. Take a chink. Okay, I need to be up there too in order to make the sound effects. So it's cheers. Keep away about my chink. Dave. <laughs> I don't have a chink here. What's that? What's a chink? A chink in my armor. All right, here we go. Chink. Clink. How about we say clink? I think that's a more acceptable one. Eh, it's okay. Smelled a lot better than it tastes. It's okay. I give it like a six. I drink this whole thing. Yeah, I think it's about a six. Smells like an eight, but tastes like a six. It's a little bit floral. Um, the orange zest in the smell becomes more of an orange pith in the taste. Yes. Um, bitterness. So, and the, you know, the tough inner white part of the uh, peel. <laughs> so, not a whole... A lot else has inspired me, but you'll notice it still has at least two fingers worth of head here, so it does keep a decent amount of foam on top. Me too. I guess in that respect, it's still releasing its carbon dioxide, so maybe the flavor will be a little more as intended. Ooh. Who knows? I was saying stuff, right? Uh, if you wish, sure. Mm, right, yes. Right, mm, good. Mm. No, it's good. Six out of ten, for sure. Six. From uh, both of us. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. Yes, go read you the Surgeon General's warning. I don't feel like doing you. it now, but you know, bring his back. Not camera, you'll know why. And uh, subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment below. We'll see you next time on Jim Day Beer Review.